and welcome everyone today we will see how we can manipulate uh, some table functions or I can say some 2d arrays because usually we try to change the colors or we think that it should be the function of the 2d array that we can change the colors of background or the text but it is not possible in lab view to change the colors of text or the background of a 2d array or a simple array so that's why this function is available in table form so that's why we will see uh, how we can manipulate the colors of tables background and even the text color so i will now open my block diagram and i will just randomly i will place a for loop in it and similarly i can draw another for loop why i have drawn for two for loops basically i will i want to create a 2d array to show you how it works so for that purpose i will go to numeric control and i will place a random number generator right now automatically its lower bound is 0 and its upper bound is 100 so I will go with this random number generator what I want to do is I will create the output um, outer loop as 10 and the inner loop is also is I say 5 so I will just connect the output that will be the index automatically and similarly it will be indexed to uh, the output of first for loop will give me an array and then the uh, output of the second for loop will give me the 2d array <clears throat> so i will create an indicator to show you so this is basically the 2d array if i run this right now as you can see i have created one two three four five uh, columns basically and 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 10 rows so that's here i can even put the number names number of rows and i can put the name here as number of columns so that's how an array is being generated so as you can see we cannot change the colors of the array basically so what we need to do is we will go to <coughs> string function and we will convert that into number two fractional string either we can use number two decimal string but we will be comfortable with number two fractional string if in case you are using some dbl then it can detect some fractions fractions as well so we will place right now a table on my front panel and i will just drag it or i can adjust it and then i will use this table to change it to indicator so that i can connect it with the table right now as you can see the, all the values here will be automatically shifted to my table so right now it is giving in the fractional form and the, its fraction is right now is set it to be if i go to its properties its fraction is almost do the six digits basically so if i go to the properties of this i cannot just select it right away so i will just go back and try to change this like uh, replacing it with the number string function and convert to decimal string since we are uh, since we are playing right now with just numbers not the, with the fractions so I place the table control in here I have the all the values in here I can just drag it to my maximum point so that you can see the all the values in my array is same as in my table control <clears throat> so what I will do is I will place another for loop and similarly a for loop inside again we will decompose this table into an elemental form so for that purpose what i will do is <clears throat> i have to give it i have to create its two property nodes named as number of columns 
and similarly the number of strings in the sorry the number of uh, rows so i'll make a copy of it and i'll just change it to the number of rows right now the number of rows as you can see here shall will be connected to here and the number of columns will be go inside the for loop first for loop and will be connected to second for loop and then what we will do is we have to check every single element in the table so for that purpose we will choose an index array function and we will connect it such that this will be connected in here as you can see right now what it is doing is when it goes inside it is it is index function that's why it is creating an error so i will just remove it disable its index and then again i will remove its index as well so that i will have a 2d array as my input so i will connect it with um, i will connect the i will connect the columns in here and the rows in here so that it will check each and every the second time uh, the second loop will run and it will check the columns and every time the loop uh, this loop is executed it will change the iteration in here so now i will create another property node named as active cells so i will go the, the, there and choose active cells in here so i will place the active cells in my second for loop and i will change it to right and then i can i have now i now i have to attach the active uh, element basically so for that purpose i need to set the active cell its column and row so that every element is being checked so for that purpose i need to place a bundle in here so that it can check each and all each and every element so right now this is my column and again as the output from the here which is coming to the row it will be connected to my bundle function so that this will give me the row and this will give me the column now i can attach to my active cell and i drop it down i can see the cell background color and similarly if i drag it down i can i can change it to cell font to cell color basically so now if i can set multiple conditions on uh, in here that what should be the colors of my uh, background of the background colors and cell font color so for that purpose i will place a select function in here and i will connect the output of my select function such that uh, i cannot just attach it in here i will again go to number to string conversion and i will find out decimal string to number so that i will say now i can make the comparison of the numbers so i will place if my numbers are if my output numbers are sorry it's offset and the number is here so if my numbers are greater than 50 then i'll say then i can set the condition that if the numbers are greater than 50 they will give me the color of uh, basically i can just delete it from here i can remove the broken error and i can just drag it in here and give this condition that if the numbers are greater than 50 then it should go and give me the red otherwise it will give me the color of let's say let's say light blue and it will be attached in here and similarly i can just attach it to change the font color basically uh, also so for the font color i will select that if the great number is greater than 50 then the font color should go yellow and again i'll attach the condition in here so if the 
and if the numbers are less than 50 then what will be the condition we'll select that let's see that will give me the color of orange basically so I will attach in it here and I'll attach this to my cell font color basically so I can just clean up my diagram and it will look more appropriate and easy to see and now if I turn on to my block diagram a front panel if I run the program right now as you can see that the colors of my table is changed accordingly I can go back and change the colors to green and now if I press as you can see the colors of are changed accordingly I can change my color to black right now so that it will give me more appropriate so that's how you can change the colors as well and you can change the font of your cells as well such that the cell size or the cell font should be bold or its size I can select its size the size of the uh, cell font is right now let's say is 25 so if I go and press then as you can see right now it is uh, bigger and as you can see it is giving me a clear idea of what are the numbers and what are the colors and the values which are greater than 50 are giving me the color change and as, uh, as well as the as well as the font color so i hope you will like my video and i hope you will like it and share and subscribe thank you